Hey guys, I have some exciting news. I am getting a new wheelchair. Yeah. Okay. So, how I kind of knew my the seat was my mom was actually taking care of me at the time and I noticed that the the seat wasn't as it was getting more flat and worn down. It's basically like a couch or a bed that gets worn down like how that one in normal people would. So I noticed that my seat was getting flatter and they're, they're meant to be like more supportive and uh, and my mom calculated it and I'm like, I think it's time for a new seat because it's been like 10 years. So we told my, my specialist about it. It's fast well, we eventually get the call from um, wheelchair place for us to make an appointment and that was back in October so I went into there as far as with the mindset of oh I'm just getting a new seat maybe possibly talking about the the idea of maybe one day getting a new chair. <clears throat> so my my realtor guy walks in. I'm like, he was like, oh, you're. He looked at me and was like, well, your your realtor is old. <laughs> and like, he was shocked that my realtor was still running. For, working actually <laughs> and no not that it's not working but it's just an older version it's very old at this point and they don't really use my wheelchairs very often and they don't see them anymore because it's they've been updating them so he was like how old is your wheelchair and so we finally figured out how old it is and it's 12 years old <laughs> so he goes um yeah and I'm putting a custom seat on 15,000 custom seat on this bot like this wheelchair so I was just looking at him like so like, what are we gonna do? Like, I wanted him to say those words. Like, you will get, like, I'm okay with starting a, like, a, the process of getting a new wheelchair. And I was so excited for it, as far as like, I was kind of in shock. Well, I, it took me a while to realize like, um, this is actually happening, like, because I told myself, because I always get too excited, and then I get disappointed, so, like, that's my meter of, like, don't get excited until it's actually happening, and so he was like, okay, you're getting a new wheelchair. They had to wait until... Um, so we did all my measurements that day because um, they got to fill out paperwork. Oh my god, paperwork for the insurance to it has to get to the it has to go through insurance first before I can get fitted, which that took us a while, and so. 
Right now, I'm currently. Um, well, in May, I will be getting fitted for my seat that we just. that. because they just. um. they just called us and said. um. it's time for Anna to get fitted for your seat. or for her seat. So, and that's where we are, um, currently right now. So I'm getting the, oh god, let me think, quantum, Q, um, Q3, I'll have Manny look it up, but, um, this one has eye level, which is like you can go up and down, and you can also, I guess, in 12 years they have um they have updated these so much that you can get eye level and the the tilted back feature, which in 12 years ago I thought that I would either have one or the other. Never did I think that my next field trip would have both of them. I can't wait to um, get out of this seat and or get out of this field trip and um, get into my new one. So I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay, thanks guys. Hey guys, I'm just popping in real quick to just explain. So, to get my, um, to get my wheelchair started, I have to go see, um, a specialty doctor, and that is called a physiatrist and doctor of physical medicine, if you guys don't know. They're actually like my CP doctor, and they help with anything um, like if you need to go to therapy or start the process basically of anything medical wise. Hey guys, I'm back. Long time no see. Um, so today, um, Uh, today was actually my molding and molding of my seat and I wanted to catch you guys up on what happened there. So, oh, by the way, I'm sorry for the lighting. I'm trying to get this done before um, and get too late. So please bear with the lady. Him. And I am doing this pretty much independently. So, yay me. Okay. Enough about me. So, let's talk. They, what happened today? So, today it was. The molding of my custom seat. I'm so. It was actually shorter than I anticipated because um they do things a little different at my wheelchair place. Um, but yeah, they. They basically molded to your body. Um, yeah, it was really short because they took some photos of, of my wheelchair. Like, they took pictures of how I sat in it. Anyway, so because of technology and advances they made it in 12 years, it went a lot faster than I was anticipating. I was expecting to be um, there for like two hours and it was not or I was not 
which is always a good thing. Um, and I can't bring you guys, I couldn't bring you guys in just for, um, privacy reasons and for both me and the Gilcher guy. Um, and I really wanted to be focused on getting my body to relax and when they ask me questions, like, oh, and there's also two people in there, so they have a PT and an old wheelchair tech that do both your uh, evaluation and your wheelchair scene molding, so, um, yeah, for that reason, I did not want to film it. I wish I could have. Hopefully, my wheelchair guy says that it will take four to six weeks to get it in. Hey guys, I want to just pop in here real quick to say, um, the time period that my wheelchair tag gave me was just his estimation and not a set timeline and you'll see what, how it plays out so yeah I think that's all I have to say for now so hopefully by the middle of June we'll get it so by the end of this video, you guys will know if I got it. You will see my new chair, which I'm so excited about. Um, it's been 12 years, so yeah, a long time coming. And I get to see you guys up and I think that's all I gotta say because I'm rambling on. But I will see you guys when I see you in the next clip. Who knows what's going to happen. Hey guys. I wanted to um, pop in here real quickly to say. So the last clip you guys saw was um, them or me updating after they formed the seat to my body um however I did notice a huge difference of like pressure relief um once they formed it what am I doing with my hands anyway once they formed it I really noticed the difference between my seat that I currently have and the seat that I will have. Yeah, I've never gone out of a wheelchair seat um, this badly before. Because my last wheelchair seat will be... Well, my last wheelchair seat was I was still growing when I... Um, when I got it. And plus, um, this is the first wheelchair that I will get that is, is not considered PEDS, which if people don't know, it's pediatrics. So this will be my first technically adult wheelchair, but the reason why I can't get adult wheelchairs, or I have to still get customized wheelchairs, or it's because of my, um, No adult wheelchair has like um, the lateral supports, and I still need to be custom, or everything needs to be fitted to me. I just can't get a wheelchair that's all over like the internet, or because of my CP and how CP affects me. So. That's all I wanted to say about that.
so this is me checking my realtor status because it's taking a long time. Hey guys, I'm, I'm just popping in here real quick because I wanted, I just thought of something that I wanted to mention. Um, so as far as when, going back to September, when we first originally went to my realtor company we originally thought it was just because of my seat but my seat was um causing pain but now my realtor is starting to lose battery um, which is a sign, a sign of it getting old, or, yeah, and it's starting to go. I'm gonna include some visuals so you guys can see what I'm talking about, but it ended up being a good thing because now in July, I mean, it's not July yet. Um, in June, I can barely make it through the day without it. It goes up by the end of the day, it is on orange. I mean, not orange, but yellow, which means very low better. And so, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Okay, I hope you had a good day. Mm. I will see you guys later. This is me trying to show uh, like the my battery level at the beginning beginning of the day, and you guys will see progressively how my battery is. Hey guys, we're just um writing a letter to hopefully speed up the realtor process a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys! So we have a an amazing update for you ever, after, oh my god, ever, <laughs> after um, we wrote the letter, my realtor people called me right away and um, were able to get me an appointment to get my new realtor, which I am so excited for. Anyway, they, they really did pull off a miracle, and thank you to U of M Wheelchair Seating for doing that. It is really, truly kind of you. So yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, hop in here real quick, and tell you guys thank you, and we are getting my new wheelchair, which I'm so excited. Four. Okay. Bye guys. I'll see you in my next video. Which hopefully is my new wheelchair. Okay. Remember to keep on rolling. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.